All righty, folks. Welcome to the day after Thanksgiving. Almost a popular fishing day as fishing the 3rd or the 5th of July. So I am using the brand new GoPro Hero 5 and kind of testing out its auto low light recording conditions. And this is how the day begins. Actually, my day began about 3.30 when I got up this morning. All right. <coughs> Bait shop next. Oh, God. Missing the party here. Missing the party. Hey, 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 buddy. Long time no see. There's the shrimpies. The trout catchers. I can tell you folks, I don't like it being this warm. I don't like it like this. All right, do I got everything? I think so. Sunglasses, check. Keys, check. All right. Did you have to blow the dust off that thing? <laughs> Well, as you can tell, this isn't the quietest place around. <laughs> never is, never will be. All right. Hi, I'm with Captain <laughs> Dave and Brian and Chris, and this is the fish, the first one that came on. First board. one in the morning. First one in the morning. Okay, turn her, turn her towards the sun a little She's bit. She's a beauty. She whooped them. I whooped them. <laughs> Happy birthday, bro. All right, there we go. Birthday present right there. Number two. Number, Number two. In under an hour and a half. We're, we're foregoing all this battling stuff today, <laughs> and we're just doing fish when they come to the boat. Sweet. Okay, number three. Number three. Anything you say? They're all running in the uh, high teens. High teens. High teens. Nice fish. Nice All fish. Right. All righty, folks. Here's the next one. Number four. And he, what did he do? He ate a shrimp on the side of the boat. <laughs> so I'd say you come out here and you can catch them almost any way you want. You could bounce a jig head on the bottom and probably catch one. Shrimp eater. He wants some shrimp cocktail. The ones out the back are having mullet steaks. Mullet, <laughs> mullet steaks. They're still around, folks. Mr. Shark. This makes them look really big. Right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, another big red. Number five. Number five. Right along the jetty rocks. Right at the base of the rocks on a piece of cut mullet. This thing so kicked severe ash cheek. It did. Is what this thing just did. Broke my left arm. <laughs> All right, folks, hold on to your hats. Look at this. It's enormous. Got to get it close. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> it's a giant Jew fish. <laughs> <laughs> we can barely hold them up. 38 pounds. <laughs> just kidding. We're just kidding. <laughs> All right, folks, look at the size of this whiting. That is truly a big whiting in anybody's book. That's a huge whiting caught right in the jetty rocks. Awesome. Really? All right, I thought it was a little redfish. What's the normal size of a whiting? Uh, about 10 inches. <laughs> is that normal? No, that's normal 
in the springtime when they're all like big females, I catch them, but I don't, I haven't caught one that big in a couple months at least. Do they least. have like a limit size? No, limit? no size limit, no nothing. a hell of a day today uh, <laughs> boy I'll tell you sometimes it's all about big fish and you don't catch hardly any small fish at all uh, we went and we tried trout fishing up at a great trout spot the problem was that the mangrove snappers ate us alive I don't know how much of a great trout year it will be. I don't know. I keep hearing about trout, trout, trout further south in the river. And we're inundated with mangrove snappers up my area, eating us alive. But, very satisfying day for my folks. We had a good time, caught some big, big fish. Had some serious knockdown drag out battles. So, got a lot of good footage. And if you noticed, I didn't do battles. I just did, you know, what fish we caught. So, I wanted to kind of keep it concise. So, there you go, the day after Thanksgiving 2016. Thanks for watching.